contributing factor to poor refrigeration temp is usually caused by a bad or dirty condenser coil. Most condenser coils are located under the front of a refrigerator on the bottom of the floor. The condenser coil can be accessed by removing the grill from the front of the refrigerator and getting yourself what's called a refrigeration coil brush. You can locate one of these coil brushes at Sears Parts Direct. The coil brush is designed to slide underneath the refrigerator from front to rear or left to right. Be careful that you don't slide this brush too far to the rear because there's a condenser fan back there that you could contact and cause damage to. Do not be too vigorous or abrupt with the coil brush while you're cleaning the coil. Too vigorous or abrupt motions could cause damage to the condenser coil, which could relate to a very expensive repair. You simply take your coil brush and slide it under the refrigerator, make an access underneath the grill or the front of the grill, and the brush is bendable so that you can make it fit and allocate the locations that you need to for cleaning. By sliding the brush front to back or left to right, you're simply going to pull out a lot of debris. Once you've cleaned the condenser coil from front to rear and left to right and you removed all the debris, which you vacuum up with a vacuum as you pull it out, your condenser coil will be clean. Make certain that you inspect your refrigerator at least twice a year to make sure that coil stays clean for proper operation and proper temperatures in your refrigerator. Another contributing factor to poor refrigeration or freezer temp or fluctuating temperatures is generally caused by the seal around the refrigerator or freezer door. A visual inspection of the gasket around the refrigerator door or freezer should result in a nice smooth surface with no tears, but the most important part of the gasket is the sidewall sealing. If a tear occurs along the sidewall, this can result in heat intrusion into the refrigerator liner or the freezer compartment. Heat intrusion in a refrigerator liner will result in moisture buildup on the shelves or in the crisper drawers, and in the freezer compartment will actually result in frost buildup. Make certain that you have no food or stickiness around the liner of the refrigerator. Stickiness will result in the gasket sticking to it when you open the door and can result in tearing the door seal. Here's a helpful tip at how to maintain the door seals on your refrigerator. You can simply apply petroleum jelly. Apply the petroleum jelly down the face of the gasket from top to bottom and also extend the sidewall of the gasket and apply the petroleum jelly through the side portion of the seal as well. In most refrigerators, there are temperature settings and there are recommended settings that are placed on the control board. However, the freezer compartment temperature is the setting that you want to adjust to the consistency of the way you like to get ice cream out of the container. Remember, we only want the freezer compartment to be as cold as necessary to freeze the products. You adjust your freezer compartment temperature one degree at a time and within a 48 hour period, you inspect your ice cream. If your ice cream is at the consistency of the way you like to scoop it out of the container, you now have adjusted your freezer compartment temperature to run only as long as necessary to freeze the products in that compartment. After you adjust the freezer compartment temperature, you simply then start beginning to adjust your refrigerator compartment temperature to the way you like the temperatures of your beverages. Once this has been done, you have adjusted your refrigerator and freezer compartment temperatures to make the refrigerator run only as long as necessary for you as a homeowner. If your refrigerator is equipped with a water filter, it's recommended that the filter be changed out every six to 12 months. Most homes are on a public water supply, which should only result in having to change that filter by the 12 month period. However, there are some homes that are on a drilled well. We call it foreign water. That water filter should be changed out by the six month term. A good indicator when a water filter may need to be changed out sooner or later is by water flow when you're filling your glass. If there's a reduction in that water flow or you notice a reduction in your ice making production, usually it's an indicator that the water filter should be changed. Remember, you may not even realize whether or not your refrigerator is equipped with a water filter. You should consult your owner's manual to determine this. Just because your refrigerator may not have a water dispenser in it for obtaining water, a water filter is necessary in most refrigerators today just for filtering the ice.